<laughs> इसने कुछ सपना देखा है भाई Can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Not again, Arvid. There you go, Victoria. तो अभी कुछ करने को आया है. Because of her images of hopeless faces, I feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. She saw humanity as tortured, right? And frankly, it's bullshit. Shh, 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 shh. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though. I could frame any one of you in a dark corner and capture you in a moment of desperation, and any one of you could do that to me. Isn't that too easy? Too obvious? What if Arvis chose to capture people at the height of their beauty or innocence? She had a brilliant eye, so she could have taken another approach. I have to admit, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Fripp. Me too, Victoria. He captured the essence of post-war beat in America. Old There was honesty button. about the economic conditions of the era, but a beauty in the struggle. You don't have beauty without a beat, which explains why Frank was careful. Look at this crap. How yeah. can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Those were the great chroniclers of the 1950s. We've all seen that iconic shot of Kerouac on the balcony. Anybody else looked at this? What would they think? And if you haven't, shame, shame. Capturing the romantic urban solitude of the 20th century poet. You did. Now. I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. And his famous self-portraits are famous early examples of that truly awful word you pesky kids love so much. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie, a dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art.